Hello everybody. Today what we're going to be talking about is all the main areas on the ship for a semester at sea so that you know the names of them before you go and so that you know what areas are available for you, what the dining halls are called, what the classrooms are called. They're all really strange names and they're hard to remember at first and you're totally going to get lost on the ship. So I'm just going to go over them for you so you know what the main areas of the ship are, where you can hang out with friends, and just everything that you should know about the layout of the ship. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel so I know to keep making more videos. And let's get into all the main areas of the ship. Alright, so the first place that you should know about is called the Lasting Reunion. And this is the big lecture hall on the ship. It's also where we have all the big events, like when we meet for pre-port, when the entire ship is together before we get to a country. That is where it happens. It can fit all of the students, all of the staff, all of the lifelong learners, and all of the ship kids. And there's a stage up in the front. This is where you're going to have global studies. And there's two levels. So there's the main level, and then there's a few chairs above. And that's usually where the lifelong learners sit. So the lasting reunion is like the main meeting place on the ship. There's also classes here throughout the day. It's split into four sections. So you might have class in like lasting reunion A, B, C, whatever. They put up like curtains. So the lasting reunion is an important place to know about. It is on level six and then the upper level is on level seven. And the next few places you should know about are places where you can get food. So of course, Berlin restaurant is one of the main dining halls on the ship. It's on deck six, and then the Lido restaurant is on deck nine, and they serve identical food at identical times. The Lido restaurant also has outside seating on deck nine, and everyone likes one or the other better. I think that Berlin is better because there's more seating options, like you can have tables of like 10 people, and Lido sort of limits your space to about four or five people, and also I just like the layout of Berlin better, but they have the exact same food, but it tastes better in Berlin, I think. But Lido is nice because you can eat outside when it is nice and sunny out, so that is a plus for Lido. And then there is one more restaurant on the ship, and it's called like the Via Jarez restaurant. I don't know how to say it, no one ever really says the name of it. This is just where you can have fancy dining, which is something you can sign up for with your friends, and it costs like $30, I think, and it's a five course meal, which is actually very delicious. And you get free champagne, well not free, you have to pay for it with the meal, with the $30, instead of just the free food that you get in the other restaurants, which are buffets. But the restaurant, the Via Hari's restaurant, is very fun to go to if you want to spend the money. And also it has class in there during the day. I had one of my classes in there and it is on deck eight. And then of course there are a few other places to get food. There is a snack bar in the library on deck six. The library is also a place on deck six. Sometimes it's called the Lily Marlene, but you can just call it the library. So the deck six basically goes like Berlin is at this end in the back of the ship in the aft of the ship and then in the middle there is the library and then in the front you can find the lasting reunion so deck six is like a place where a lot is happening and it's like a main meeting area for a lot of different people and then there is another snack bar on deck nine sometimes called the pool bar and at the pool bar you also can order things from the grill which is also on deck nine but it's by the Lido restaurant in the aft of the ship next to the outdoor seating area. So you pick up your food from the grill, but you order it at the pool bar, and these are both on deck nine. And then obviously the other thing that is on deck nine is the pool deck and the pool. And then if you head inside past the pool bar, you will get to the Lido Terrace, which is used as a classroom during the day. And it is also a very good place to study. And it also holds events at night, like bingo night and trivia night. It's very nice and calming in there. I like that place a lot. So that is on deck nine as well. And then heading back inside, if you go to deck eight, you will find the Kino Theater, which is a movie theater that is on the ship. They play movies in there every once in a while and they will let you know this before it happens. Or sometimes they play movies in the last year reunion as well if they think it's going to be a more popular movie that the whole ship is going to want to see. And then there are two fitness centers on the ship. There is one on deck six, which is indoors, and there's one on the back of deck eight, which is outdoors. And then also on deck eight, you will find the Adlon Lounge, which is used as a classroom or like, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Maybe it was like the old library, but now it's just used as a classroom. And then if you head down right below that, you will find the Fritz Bar, 
which is not open to students, but it is a bar where faculty can hang out and get drinks. So you're not allowed to go there, but that's on deck seven. Also on deck seven, you will find the ship store where you can buy sweatshirts and t-shirts that say semester at sea. You can buy sunscreen, you can buy school supplies, you can buy like toiletries and stuff. They really have a lot of stuff in there. So that is a good place to go if you run out of something. And next to the ship store on deck seven, you'll find the hair salon or spa where you can get your hair dyed, you can get it cut, you can get it colored, you can get your nails done. They do a lot of different fun treatments. And also in the salon on deck seven, you can sign up to go to the spa, which is on deck three. So the spa is something that you can sign up for with a group of, I think, eight or so friends, and you each have to pay $20 for two hours in there. But in there, they have an indoor pool, they have a steam room and a sauna, they have a huge like brass tub, they have some like heated chairs and stuff. You get to do face masks and face scrubs and like face lotions and you get juice and it's really fun. So if you wanna do that, be sure to sign up for that. And you can sign up at the hair salon on deck seven, but you actually go to the spa on deck three. Also on deck three is where you're gonna find the medical center or the clinic and they can help you with a lot of stuff. If you have any issues at all, you should go down and check with them, like a rash or like a weird bug bite, because you never really know what it is if you're in a different country. So you should always get it checked out. And this is also where you can go to get seasickness medication. So that is very important to know as well. And then right above this is deck four, where you're gonna find just cabins for people sleeping, like students. And the same thing is on deck five. That's where all the rooms are, decks four and five. And also on deck five is the reception desk, which is a very important area on the ship. So this is where you should go if you have questions about literally anything. This is where they're gonna keep your passports. This is where you can sign up for field programs. The reception desk is a very important place. It's like the hub of everywhere on the ship and it's on deck five. So that basically covers all the main areas on the ship. I hope that it helps you to hear about them, hear their names, know what they are. So I hope you liked this video and please subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video.